I'd like to call the order of the Common Council meeting for April 27th, 2021 at 614 p.m. Tenants roll call. Alderman Madden. Here. Alderman Kubaki. Here. Alderman Engelhart. Here. Alderman Kapusta is not here. Alderman Terrence is not here. Alderman Hamill. Here. Alderman Wolf. Here. We have a quorum and Mary Pitkowski is here. Thank you. Statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the open meeting law. All right. I'm going to skip ahead on the agenda to the public hearing. We'll get back to the other agenda items on here. And after the public hearing, I'm going to adjourn the Common Council meeting, go back to the committee, the whole, and, and state as such. So um, do, you want to read, do you want to read the notice of public hearing or should I? I can read it All if right. you want. To consider the petition of Mike Carrick of Carrick Homes, Inc. to rezone property known as part of tax key numbers 2211.996.002 and 2211.997 located on Durham Drive um, and Pregal Drive from RC2 Country Residence District and Southwest Shoreland Wetland District to PD Planned Development District based on RS2 Multiple Family Residence District and Southwest Shoreland Wetland District for the purpose of allowing a future single family subdivision. Thank you. Adam? Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> so as was mentioned, this is a rezoning request um, that's being requested tonight by Mike Carrick of Carrick Homes from RC2 and Shoreland Wetland Zoning to a planned development district. That planned development's based upon the RS2 zoning and Shoreland Wetland Zoning District. The proposal is for a 45 and a half acre uh, development is the total development size. The tentative subdivision would be for 45 single family homes along with five outlots. Outlots would be for stormwater management, open space and preservation, utility easements and landscape easements. Uh, the subdivision would potentially have new roads stemming off of Durham Drive and Pregal Drive. Uh, the 45 single family lots uh, equate to a density of about 0 0.989 units per acre, or it equates to one unit for each 1.01 acres of land uh, gross within the development. This density falls within the existing low density residential land use category that allows up to 0.99 units per acre. So it meets the comprehensive plan designation that's currently established by this city. The proposed density, um, excuse me, the base zoning of the RS2 typically requires minimum lot sizes of 20,000 square feet of land with a typical minimum average width of 110 feet. As part of the plan development request, which can allow some flexibility to the underlying zoning, the lot size of 20,000 is remaining the same. So it is meeting the underlying zoning of that RS2 zoning of 20,000 square foot lots, as well as then the width, which is proposed to be 100 feet in width, is being reduced from what's typical to be 110 in that zoning. So they're asking for a 10 foot reduction on average lot width, but keeping the total lot acreage the same as would normally be required. The front setbacks, they're asking for a 30 foot front setback, which is compared to a typical 40 in the RS2 district. For side yard offsets, um, they're asking for both side offsets to be respectively 15 feet each. Normally in the RS2 would be 15 on one side and 20 on the other. So they're asking for a five foot reduction on one side. And that's probably because of the reduced width. And then the rear offset, um, they're asking for a 25 foot offset, normally be 20. So they're saying they're gonna actually increase the offset from the rear property line. Um, the only exception is they're creating, having a 40 foot setback along Durham and Prego, which is typical. There is not any kind of density bonus that is being requested as part of the plan development. Thank you. At this time, anyone would like to be heard for or against this? Item, please step forward, give your name, address. Going once, going twice. Any questions or comments from the council? Hearing none and no one's coming forward, I will declare this public meeting closed. <laughs> All right, I'm reconvening the common council meeting at 7.20 p.m. Um, one, can we take, is this under consent? Yes. Can I, I'm gonna to jump to consent agenda. Um, the consent agenda, 
Hearing no opposition, we need jumping to consent. Is there any? Okay. No. Uh, consent agenda was the approval of the Common Council uh, minutes from March 23rd, 2021 and April 20th, 2021. Approval of operator's licenses, resolution 036-2021, appointment of citizen members to various boards and committees and commissions. Resolution 037-2021, resolution declaring May 8th, 2021 as World Migratory Bird Day. Resolution 0. 3-8-2021, appointment of all the persons to various boards and committees. Resolution 039-2021, approval of a certified survey map for Carrick. Resolution 040-2021, declaring certain weeds to be noxious. Resolution 041-2021, appointment of the weed commissioner for the city of Muskego, the most sought after job. Uh, resolution 042-2021, acceptance of an offer to purchase from Swilva, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Swilva <laughs> Henderson from, uh, for the city of Muskego property on Woods Road. Resolution 043-2021, approval of Cobblestone Meadows stormwater management maintenance agreement. Resolution 044-2021, approval of Green Solutions funding agreement with Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewer District for Little Muskego Lake Access Number 9. Resolution 045-2021, approval of agreement between the water bug ski team and the city of Muskego for peer placement, water ski jump and show events at Idle Isle. Resolution 046, 2021, approval of developers agreement with DCEN LLC for Danoon Country Estates North Subdivision and Resolution 047, 2021, award of bid for Park Arthur Fields 1, 2 and 3. Move to approve and gross. Second. There is. Discussion. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's approved. Now, to any objection to running, uh, jumping to the closed session, we have some guests here that are Bye. being paid. Yeah. All right. Um, so we, so you're we done. need you've a, been, Yeah, you've been approved. <laughs> you're done. You're we done. Just did it. We yeah. did it. You didn't even call me that question. No. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Notice of closed session. The following conclusion in consideration of the above portion of its regularly scheduled agenda, the Common Council will meet to vote on a motion to convene in closed session for discussion action relative to Ronald Schroeder v. City of Muskego case number 20-20-CV-01066-WED, 20 United States District Court, Eastern District of Wisconsin. A closed session for the above purposes is, to auth is authorized pursuant to the provisions of 19.85-1G, uh, Wisconsin statutes conferring with legal counsel for the governmental body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation in which it is or likely to become involved. Upon conclusion of this closed session, the Common Council will convene into open, se open session to consider its public agenda, including motions to recommend approval or rejection of the, the above listed deliberations or any of the public agenda items that have not been acted upon. Can I get a motion for that? Motion to go to closed session. Second. Roll call vote. Alderman Madden? Yes. John Engelhart, Alderman Engelhart? Yes. Alderman Hamill? Yes. And Alderman Wolf? Yes. Oh, Alderman Kubaki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard something. Yes. Like this. <laughs> you almost got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have it's it's approved five nothing. We are in closed session at seven twenty four p.m. We will be reconvening into open session following the closed session to uh, finish the uncompleted issues of our agenda. Reconvene the common council meeting at eight oh five. Uh, I need a motion to go into open session. So moved. Second. All those in favor of going back into open session, say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. All right, let me figure out where I'm at. Well, you have public to do comment. The pro pro oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone from the public want to speak? <laughs> Once, Someone. Twice. Communication from the mayor's office. Watch out. 
Maybe Maybe my wife's selling it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have a couple proclamations. Proclamation for fair. Proclamation, so I got a uh, proclamation for Fair Housing Month, whereas Wisconsin is celebrating the 53rd anniversary of the Wisconsin Open Housing Law, and whereas it is important to reaffirm Muskego's commitment regarding fair housing, which occurs when people have a wide range of housing choices based on income and needs, regardless of race, color, sex, sexual orientation, religion, national origin, ancestry, age, marital status, lawful source of income, disability, family status, or status as a victim of domestic abuse, sexual abuse, or stalking. I therefore, now I'm sorry, now therefore be it resolved that I, Rick Petfalski, Mayor of the City of Muskego, do hereby proclaim April 2021 to be Fair Housing Month and encourage all housing providers to support and affirm their commitment to fair housing. I wish to continue success in breaking the barriers that limit the realization of equal housing opportunities for everyone dated this 27th day of April, 2021. And a proclamation for Arbor Day. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for planting of trees, and whereas this holiday, called Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. Whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious soils by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide a habitat for wildlife, and whereas trees are a renewable source giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joyful and spiritual renewal, and whereas on March 5th, 2021, the city of Muskego was named a 2020 Tree City USA by the National Arbor Day Foundation in honor of its commitment to effective urban forest management. Therefore, now therefore, I, Rick Petfalski, Mayor of the City of Muskego, do hereby proclaim Friday, April 30th, 2021, as Arbor Day in the City of Muskego and urge all citizens to support efforts to protect trees and woodlands and support our city's urban forestry program and further i urge all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote well-being of pr present and future generations dated this 27th day of april 2021 signed by me thank you <laughs> all right public hearing possible reconsideration Hearing none, moving on to consent agenda, which we've already approved. New business, review of committee reports. In front of you is the plan commission minutes from March 2nd, 2021, and finance committee from March 9th, 2021. Going on to first readings of ordinance and possible second readings if rules are waived. Ordinance 1457, an ordinance to amend the zoning map of the city of Muskego, Carrick RC2, and SW2 planned or PD um, need a motion or actually it's just a first reading. <laughs> Next ordinance, ordinance 1458, an ordinance to amend chapter 278, section 278-19 and add section 278-20 of the municipal code of the city of Muskego. Public waters and beaches, hours for lake access. Any questions on, or any more information needed on that for the next reading? Hearing none, ordinance number 1459, an ordinance to amend chapter 259, section 259.1 of the Municipal Code of the City of Muskego, Parks and Recreation Facilities slash definitions. Any questions or information needed on that for the next meeting? Moving on to license approval. Approval of a Class A 
dance hall license and class B license to sell fermented malt beverages and intoxicating liquor from Muskego Golf LLC S100 W14029 Loomis Road doing business as Muskego Lakes Country Club. Can I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Approval of outside dance permit for Tailspin South 64 West 18295 Martin Drive as follows. Thursday, May 6, 2021 from 6.30 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. Sunday, May 9, 2021 from 2.30 p.m. till 7 p.m. Now, they would also be amending the license premise as follows. Thursday, May 6, 2021 from 6.30 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. and Sunday, May 9th, 2021 from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. The above to, uh, the above are subject to review and approval by the Plan Commission for Outdoor Activities. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Vulture approval. Motion to approve utility vouchers in the amount of $10,781.64. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Move to approve tax vouchers in the amount of $22,880. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Motion to approve general fund vouchers in the amount of $239,529.86. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes as well. City officials reports. We don't have any. Communications and miscellaneous business is authorized by law. Any updates from the liaisons after your last year of successful liaisoning with these groups? <laughs> you all, you all, there are new assignments for some of these. Pay attention. Yeah. Um, Little Muskego Lake is delaying their meeting one week this, this month, coming month. There's been a lot of talk about the dam going up and down is that what you control or is that through public works that's through public works okay so um future agenda items yes sir um first of all before i get into that i just want to make a comment i, I appreciate that we got the uh people back in here from the the last uh, common council meeting on the uh, sewer backup and i also appreciate you guys uh letting me speak and, and listen to me because i probably had uh a lot of time there, you probably want to hear all of it. But uh, anyway, I appreciate that, and, and I'm, I'm glad we got to hear from the people because that's what we're here for, so I, I, I'm glad that happened. Hey, my uh, future agenda items, um, if we can get an update on where the police station is, the former police station. <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. <laughs> and we, then, we did have, I'll just give you a quick one now. We're, we're going to have a future call to go over, but we did um, do a walkthrough with the contract, not we. Staff did a walkthrough with the contractor this week to just at least learn what could be. So we'll be bringing back to a future call. No, that's good because I, I know a lot of people have looked at that site and wondering what's going on. So just to keep out in front of the public. Also, the other the other one is, and I know we talked about this one as well, and I know I just want to bring it back up, um, the old Parkland Mall uh, updates and where if we can have somebody come in from, from the, uh, the developer uh, give us some updates where they're going because I think that's a focal site for the city and, and, and what's uh, what has happened there and what has not happened there and what can happen there type thing, you know. So, I mean, so I know COVID the, and everything was a, a big deal. Do you want deal. the developer in here or do you want Adam to reach out to the developer and then Adam give a report sure. about what's... just some updates so the, the community is just aware of what's going on because I know that... A lot of people were disappointed that Sendix didn't come in and, you know, it's out of our control, but at least at least we keep the communication open is what I'm thinking. Sure. Um, something easy, I know we talked about this, nameplates up here, especially it's, when we have the people in here, if we can get some nameplates. I, I know it's on the list. Yeah. That's, um, that's I thought me. about it when the people were out there. So did I. <laughs> uh, and the last thing is is something caught my attention today, um, uh, and maybe you guys seen this or know of it, but... And, and, and maybe we don't want to do this, but it's, it's something that we should probably take a look at. I saw Wauwatosa uh, put solar on all their buildings. I don't know if there's money out there for that. Um, I understand that so many year payback is 25% less energy. And now with all the green initiatives from top-down administration, 
Uh, there might be money out there. So they, I think they did their library, City Hall, and, and, and another building, I don't know. But I just seen millions of these things on top of these buildings, and they're, and they're talking about how great it is. I don't know if it is. I, I don't want to be the, the person, to, you know, sound like the greenest person in the world. But if it, if it makes sense, we should probably look at it with if there's incentives available. So, so if I'm going to bring that forward... I think we just it's take too, a look at it. Yeah, we don't have to bring it's, it forward. It's, yeah. Well, I, I, what I would do is probably have somebody either, you know, Scott with all his free time have. Uh, um, well, you know, call somebody up over or there, or have somebody come in. But my thought is, you know, that's really kind of a budgetary thing. But it's almost too late to try to get this next budget cycle. So I, we have some time on that because it probably won't hit until the next budget cycle. Well, yeah, and, and depending on incentives, you know, it, it, it might make sense. But I, I don't know where to. I think there's going to be more incentives coming down the road. Is what right. I'm thinking, and maybe we're on the forefront of looking at this, or maybe. We're crazy for even bringing it up, you know. All right. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I also will just for a note, point of notification. Um, once we get more clarification on the um, stimulus money that we're getting, we're getting about two point four million dollars. Um, I will be um, coming forward to Cal for us to discuss what we can spend it on. Maybe some recommendations um, as such. But right now, the the rules on that are changing daily. So. Um, things I can tell you is we get it over two years and it's very specific on what you can spend it on. That's all I know. Okay. All right. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned at 8.17. Thank you, everyone.